Good morning and welcome back to our Family Travel YouTube channel. Uh, so today I'm going to give you another update on the current state of the red tide down here in Sarasota County. And I'm going to do a little bit different today. I'm actually going to take you to four different beaches. We're going to start at Lido Beach, which is where I am now. Then we're going to go down to Siesta Beach and then we're going to go to Nokomis Beach and we're going to finish it up at Venice Beach. So we're going to go and see what the conditions are like at four different beaches. All I ask if you like this video and you find value in these videos, please tap the like button. And if you love to travel, we invite you to subscribe. We upload weekly videos um, showcasing beautiful destinations around the country. So let's go and see what this beach has got in store for us today. So this is Lido Beach which is very close to St. Armand Circle. Um, and I've got to say, so far, I don't really smell much red tide in the air. Um, the beach looks pretty clear. The ocean looks pretty calm. But let's go and see what's down by the water. Overall, the conditions seem to be pretty good. Um, there are a few fish washed up and a few eels washed up, but nothing like we've seen over the past couple of weeks um, there's quite a few people out here enjoying it the water is extremely calm today so yeah i think lido beach is is a good place to visit definitely today and maybe this weekend so enjoy your beach time okay let's make our way down to siesta key and go and see siesta beach Okay, here we are at Siesta Beach on Siesta Key Island. Um, it's 9.30 a.m. and it's August 13th. Just to put a timestamp on this video. Oh, just so you know, tomorrow we're actually going to be uploading a driving tour of Siesta Key Island. So if you want to see that, a link to that in the description tomorrow morning. So you can see a little bit more about what this beautiful island has to offer. So we're walking onto the beach and as you can see, it's already starting to fill up quite nicely. From here, I don't smell any red tide. It looks very clear, it's a beautiful day, but let's go down and see what's a little bit closer to the water. So, as you can see, there's quite a lot of people enjoying the water today. Um, there is no smell in the air of uh, the red tide. The conditions look pretty good, to be fair. And I'm not seeing any fish along the ocean that have been washed up. I'm also not seeing any tire marks, which would indicate that people have been out here earlier to clean up. So, I think the last few days has been pretty good. Um, I will say it's important to note there is a, a tropical storm that's going to hit potentially over this weekend so just make sure you check in the weather before you come out here. I am absolutely not a weatherman <laughs> so don't take my word for it um, but yeah overall the conditions look pretty good. As always, it's important to note that the conditions at these beaches can change daily. So be sure to visit www.visitbeaches.org for the most up-to-date uh, beach conditions. Okay, that's Siesta Key. Next up, we're gonna make our way south and we're gonna go to Nokomis Beach. Okay, next up, Nokomis Beach. This is actually one of our personal favorite beaches. We come here quite often. Um, there's a slight smell in the air here today of the red tide, but oh, there you go. They've actually got the yellow flag up there. Um, so mild hazards. Um, still people here on the beach. Water seems to be quite calm. 
let's go down to the ocean front and see what we see okay so the conditions out here at Nakoma's beach are unfortunately not nearly as good as what they were at Lido and Siesta beach um, I'm definitely seeing signs of dead fish and other marine life that have been washed up um, there's a slight smell in the air um, not nearly as bad as it was last week but it's still definitely still present so and I'm not sure if you can see this but I'm seeing crabs eels fishes so it's, it's unfortunate because this is actually one of our favorite beaches as I just mentioned and it's a fantastic place to come and um, hunt for shark's teeth in all of these shells so I definitely recommend when red tide does clear up that you come on out and explore Nakoma's beach because it's beautiful out here. Okay let's make our way to our final beach, Venice Beach. Okay here we go our final beach that we're going to be giving an update from today we're here at Venice Beach so let's go and have a look again this is another beautiful beach so hopefully the conditions here are pretty good okay the first thing we're seeing when we walk onto this beach is this sign which says strong red tide presence will cause coughing sneezing and dead fish swimming not advised more info visit beaches.org let's go and see for ourselves Okay, so walking along the water here at Venice Beach and it is very clear to see that red tide is still causing some pretty major issues. As you can see, there's some large fish that are being washed up. Um, there's a smell in the air. It's not as bad as it has been. Um, it's not causing me to cough nearly as much as what it was when I was last out here. But unfortunately, you are still seeing a lot of fish and other marine life being washed up so yeah so there you go um, that's Venice Beach okay that wraps up uh, this update on the Sarasota beaches for red tide um, I'll try and do another one next week so if you are visiting the area and you're looking for things to do check out our playlist of Sarasota County uh, we've got videos on Siesta Key uh, Venice Casey Key, Casperson Beach, Shark Teeth Hunting, St. Armand Circle. There's a whole bunch on there, so you can get some good, uh, good tips, good information on things to see and do when you're visiting this beautiful part of Florida. As always, happy travels.